Hi friends and welcome to my channel Lotus Geek. In today's video, we are going to fix your Bluetooth error. We couldn't connect to your device. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed. First of all, we will do basic troubleshooting. If you are using Bluetooth as an USB device, kindly switch to the USB in which attach to your system. Make sure you flip those USB devices. And secondly, click on the taskbar icon and over here make sure this Bluetooth icon must be turned on. For example, if it is turned off, it would look like this. Now I'll click on it again and now it is turned on. And next one is this aeroplane mode must be turned off like it is showing right now. If I click on it, it is turned on. But make sure you turn it off. Aeroplane mode is turned off and now Bluetooth is turned on. This is the basic troubleshooting steps. Make sure you follow these steps. Now if this doesn't work out, we are going to proceed to the next step. Open your settings menu. In settings menu, in Windows 11, you will find Bluetooth and devices. And in Windows 10, you will find the option devices. So click on that. From here, in the Bluetooth option, you turn it off, then at least wait for 30 seconds and then turn it on. Once done, click on view more devices. And in Windows 10, you will find the option of more Bluetooth options. That will open this page for you. Over here, you need to click on more Bluetooth settings. And here in this option, in the discovery, make sure allow Bluetooth devices to find this PC. This must be checked on. Hit apply and OK button. Now go ahead and check if it is there or not. Now if this doesn't work out, simultaneously press Windows and R key in run command type services.msc and then hit the enter button. Now here in services menu, you will find the services related to Bluetooth. Here you have Bluetooth audio gateway, support service and user support. These three services are available. You need to double click on each service and if the service type, make it automatic. And if the service status is stopped, click on the start button to start the service at once. Do the same with Bluetooth support service as well as Bluetooth user support service. Once you have completed, nextly double click on this Bluetooth support service. I'll first go and make it automatic. Now click on the logon option. From here click on the browse button. Again click on advance and then click on find now. Here find local service. Hit the OK button. Again OK and here password delete it. And hit apply and then click on the OK button. Again OK button. Now go ahead and restart your system. This time your problem will be fixed. Now if this also doesn't work out, the next step is to simultaneously press Windows and R key and type here dev management dot msc and then hit the enter button. Now over here you need to find your Bluetooth service. Expand it. Right click on your Bluetooth device. For example, my wireless device is Intel wireless Bluetooth. You need to right click on it and click on the properties button. Now choose the power management tab. Here if this is checked, uncheck this icon. Hit the OK button. Now don't forget to restart your PC. Once restarted, if the problem is still persist, the next option is in device manager itself, you need to right click on each four of these devices. Right click and choose the option uninstall device. You need to in uninstall first, second, third and fourth and then restart your system. Once you restart your system, the drivers will be automatically installed by your windows. After the drivers are installed, your problem will be fixed by now. However, if it is still there, right click on your Bluetooth device over here and click on the properties button. Here click on driver tab and choose the option update driver. Choose the second option browse my computer for drivers and again choose second option let me pick from a list of available drivers. From here choose the latest driver present in your system. For example, 
the first driver date is of november 2022 and second one is the june 2021 which is the latest driver so click on the next button after to choosing the latest driver for your system now once the driver are finished installing close it and as it is saying you need to restart your system don't forget to restart your system and your problem will be fully fixed one more thing friends if this bluetooth option is not available over here in device manager you need to click on view tab and choose the option show hidden devices because sometimes the device may be hidden in your device manager if even after doing this it is not available click on the action tab and choose the option add legacy hardware click on the next button to continue and choose the second option from here find network adapter click on the next button to continue here list of network adapters are shown in front of you so depending upon the type of manufacturer you have for example i have intel choose the intel and then click on the next button to install bluetooth in your device once it is installed it will shown right over here so that's it about it friends if this video works out for you please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to continue receiving more updates from my channel